Welcome to the new React Native Quick Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can to keep your entry file index.js or ts together with the rest of the code in your project. If we are talking about some configs files, they could be outside the source code folder, but the index file isn't a config and sometimes could contain more than just registering component stuff. A good example you can see in the source code for the orgs game tutorial where I used React Native Navigation for my project. Unfortunately, moving the index file to the src folder would be not enough, so let's to see how to do that in the right way. After placing the index file in the src folder, we config the iOS project first. Go to the updelegate file, I'm using Xcode for that, and update the path in the source URL for bridge to src slash index. It will be enough for the running project in the debug mode, but for release we need to add one more thing. Open build faces from settings, go to the bundle React Native code and images and add export entry file with the relevant path src slash index.ts in my case. Let's run to make sure everything is fine. Build succeeded and let's wait for the running on the simulator. Looks like everything is ok and we can go to the Android. I open Android native project with the Android Studio, go to the main application file and update the path to src slash index as well. And the last thing we need to do here is to add the new path for the entry file to the Gradle app settings. That's all, so let's run Android to make sure it works. Looks good, and now you know how to change entry file paths of Android and iOS in your React Native project. If you like it, this video, please give it your thumbs up and put your comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe on my channel, it really helps to make more videos for you. And see you in the next one.